Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to create a Power BI report in less than 5 minutes. Power BI is one of the best tool in today's market. If you compare with any other product, let's say Tableau, ClickView or any uh, Elephant BI, any product, Power BI is one of the best. We'll see an example here how to create a report in less than 5 minutes and very smoothly, very easily. To create a report, we need some data. So I have kept the data in the file named as 1.5 Power BI Superstore. So this file is just a, a sample file which is having approximately 21 columns. If you see on the right hand side, 21 columns. It is uh, the data about the sales company where any item which has been sold, it will the record has been generated here. And approximately there are 10,000 records in this file. You see there are 9994 records in this data here. And the name of this table which I'm using is, the name of the table is orders table. So I'll use this data to create a sample report in Power BI. Okay, now uh, the name of the sheet is order sheet, name of the table is orders table. So I'll click on close button. Now I'll open this Power BI report and click on this Excel button here, 1.5 open. And then I'll pick up this orders table. Yeah, and just click on load button. The reason I'm not clicking on transform data because I know the data is clean here. There is nothing to be clean in this data source. Just click on load button. That means I'm okay to create charts for this data set. So once you click on load button, on the right hand side, you can see all 21 columns which have been given here. Whatever columns were there will be present here. Somewhere you can see there's a calendar icon. That means it's a date data type. Okay, somewhere you can see summation icon. You can see discount, profit, quantity. That means it's a number data type. Now, this is a orders table. That's now a name of the query. I'll just expand this. Okay. That's a place where you can select the charts and create the charts. And here you have to put the fields, whatever fields you bring it here. But now, since you're new to this Power BI, if you want to quickly create a report, okay, in less than five minutes, what is the method? I'll be showing you this technique named as AI in BI, artificial intelligence in business intelligence. So what I can do is you just remember the name of the column, let's say region sales, category sales. Okay, these are name of the column. Suppose if I want to create a simple pie chart, let's say region sales, what you can do is I'll just double click on this place on the screen. And here I can type region sales, the font is very small. So I'll zoom the screen here. So I'll just zoom for you. Yeah. And here I can just write the name of the column here. Region sales in pie. Okay, just write region sales in pie. And this will create a pie chart for you. So I'll just resize it properly. And now if you're okay with this, if you're satisfied with this chart, you can just click on this okay button. And this will create a chart for you. Okay, so that's a simple pie chart. Now if I want to create one more donut chart, let's say for category, there are some category column here, and I want to create category sales in a donut chart. So I'll just simply double click on this place. And then I'll write the name of the column category sales. Category sales in donut. Okay, and I'll select the first option donut. And once you are satisfied with what they are asking they are giving you can just click on this okay button. And you can see that's a okay button I can click and donut chart is created. Okay, same way just remember the column names. One more suppose I want to create a, a funnel chart for subcategory sales, there's a column given here subcategory. Let me show you. That's a subcategory. And I want to create a subcategory sales as a funnel chart, same method, same trick, just double click on this place, it will and type subcategory sub hyphen category space sales in funnel. Okay, and then you can just click on this OK button. I think it is not correct. So I'll just remove this column here. Again, I can just double click on this place, type as subcategory. sales in funnel. Subcategory sales in funnel and you can click on this button here. That's okay button. So that's a simple funnel chart which is created. Okay, so it's very, very simple to create here. Now let us create two more charts. I want to create one line chart. Line charts are usually created for a date field. So I have a date field here that is order date. So I want to create a line chart for order date sales. So I'll just move my screen here double click and I'll type here order date sales in line chart. Okay, 
select that and you can click on this button here that's a simple line chart and the last one i want to create a map so there's a field named as state so i want state wise profit in a map so i'll just double click again and type here as state profit in map state profit in map and then it, it will take time to load and then you can just click on OK button. If it is not loading, maybe I can create a simple table here, state profit in table and click on this button here. So I'll just click on this. So once you finish, I can just show you the screen here. Now that's a simple report. Okay, I'll just minimize this windows which are not required. I can minimize, minimize. I can also minimize this ribbon which is not required. So that's a button, small button where you can minimize the ribbon here. Now, that's a simple report. Now what is the beauty of this Power BI dashboard or report I can say, not a dashboard, it's a report here. Suppose this is the West region which is given here. If I click on this West region, other reports would be filtered for that West region. Okay. Same way, if I want to unfilter or clear filter, simply click on this place. So this is for category sales. You can see the heading sales by category. If I click on this office supplies, the dark blue color, if I click on this place, I can see the subcategories by sales, the states by sales, state by profit and so on. So all the reports, all the charts would be filtered here. And if you want to a clear filter, simply deselect here. And obviously you have to do, uh, you know, focus about the alignment part. It should be properly aligned and then you can do it, right? So that's a simple AI in BI, artificial intelligence in business intelligence. So I hope you have understood how to create a report in Power BI in less than five minutes. That's all for this video.